Hi there, so um, my name's Jonathan, Jonathan Hill, uh, and I'm an English teacher based in Central Europe, specifically I'm based in Bratislava in the Slovak Republic. And um, interestingly enough, I also work in Austria too, because it's very close to uh, Bratislava. Uh, Vienna is actually only about 50 kilometers away from where I'm based. I work as a, an English teacher um, in companies, so I teach uh, freelance, I go to various different multinational companies and teach primarily business English. Uh, but within Austria I work in academia and I work at two universities teaching uh, ESP or English for specific purposes to uh, primarily teenagers but also adult groups as well. Um, one reason um, why I'd like to um, attend IATF for next year is because within the last year, um, and I've been teaching English now for 10 years, um, I, I've become very interested in educational technology or commonly known as edtech and I'd like to really um, learn more about the different types of tools that could be used within my teaching practice but also how it could help my colleagues. Um, one thing I realise at the moment, particularly with a lot of my teaching, is that all of my students have access to a device like this. Um, and I'll show you maybe one app as well. Um, maybe something like this. They have an iPhone or, or, or a smartphone of some kind. And um, they all use it. They use it on a regular basis, whether it's checking Facebook, the news, sports, whatever. And um, I just think it's such a disappointment that students aren't using that a lot more for learning. Now, some are, um, but not all. And I, as a teacher, and probably many other teachers as well, we spend a lot of time um, sort of giving a lot of information. Um, and we do get something back from our students, and I encourage a lot of feedback, obviously. But um, I feel that students still don't do enough outside of class. And, and how can we do, how can we get them doing more outside of class? And one way I feel is by using uh, smartphones and tablets to do that. Now, I'm still searching for the perfect tool, really, but I hope by attending IATEFL, I can find a tool that maybe would help my learners and would help them to become more independent and autonomous outside of the classroom, so that when, for example, I input information, um, they can take that information and then use it to maybe do Quizlets or, or do Kahoots outside of class, and then come back with maybe increased knowledge of vocabulary or, or about a certain topic or whatever it is we're, we're, we're covering at that time. Um, one, one thing I see at the moment um, is that a lot of teachers, particularly um, the older generation, are quite hesitant about using tech. Um, there's many reasons for that, obviously um, sort of the, the, the fear of change, um, the older teachers probably are resistant to it because they feel it could put them out of a job. Um, I don't really see it like that, but I feel that technology is inevitable. And one thing that I'd like to take away from this conference and put into my own practice is the ability to, to find an app or find a way of using technology to um, help my other teachers uh, again do what I want to do, help their students become more independent outside of class. And I'd like to sort of um, become maybe a, a, a leader or maybe a spokesperson for um, igniting change at the institutions I work in to encourage other people to do the same, to get, to get to teachers and students to use more apps, more devices that can help take their learning much uh, to, a, to a higher level really, to a greater level. Um, one thing interestingly that I'm doing currently is because I'm based in, in Slovakia and I have many years of experience speaking Slovak uh, language and also Czech is I'm developing an application specifically for um, Slovak speakers of English because I also, with, with speaking a language, I can relate to and understand the problems they go through when they're learning English and I'm spending a lot of time developing an app that will help them do that. Um, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of my students work in business, in, in corporations, and I see the same mistakes happening over and over again. And I have been working on an app that would, would help them and go a great way to making them more aware of the mistakes they are making. And I want to launch this um, on, um, on the App Store to enable them to do that. So, 
that's another reason why I'd like to attend IATF or to really see what's happening in the in the technology sector of ELT and to make sure that I'm on the very sort of forefront of what's going on. Anyway, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of information I can learn by attending this and a lot of information I can process to my colleagues back in the field. So thank you for your consideration. I look forward to coming to IATF. Or...